bit of hope to people who need it in our communities. Kia ora, Mr. Minister Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I didn't intend to start this way, but I cannot help myself. That member wants to talk about the good, the bad and the ugly. Well, the good is on this side of the House. The bad and the ugly is all about the leaks, the recordings, Mr. Speaker, and the public criticism of their own colleagues. So they own the bad and the ugly. We own the good, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have to, uh, like everyone else, I think, who started today, um, acknowledge you and thank you for the role that you've played in this House. There have been times, and I'm not going to lie, where I've struggled to understand the question from my opposing member, uh, where I've struggled to understand the response I've given uh, to the questions, given I never understood the question, and then I've struggled to understand the ruling that's come from you. But we've made it through the year, Mr Speaker, um, and we're here now. And Mr Speaker, I do acknowledge everyone across the House because this is not an easy place to work. Uh, this is not an easy place in any way, uh, but we all do have lives, we have families, we have things going outside, on outside of this space, and it's important uh, that we do acknowledge that at this time of year, and I do genuinely wish everyone a very Merry Christmas um, and a wonderful holiday season. Uh, Mr Speaker, I acknowledge our um, parliamentary colleagues on this side in terms of the Green Party and also our coalition partners, New Zealand First. It has been an interesting year, uh, Mr Speaker, and I have to say that the end result um, when you are negotiating across the political spectrum in this way is a good result, Mr Speaker. We get to a good point. At times it feels like I'm negotiating with my 74-year-old father and my 20-year-old son, but we get to the right place, Mr Speaker, and that's the most important thing, and it's about what's right for New Zealand. And I think that we represent represent the best interests of New Zealand uh, in this government, and I think that's important. Mr Speaker, I want to acknowledge the officials that are working for us. Uh, in my first year as a minister, when I first walked into the office, I looked at them after having been in opposition for so many years, thinking, what do I do with these people? Uh, Mr Speaker, but I want to acknowledge the public servants because they work so incredibly hard for us. Uh, they do a fantastic job. And at no point in time over the last year has there been any resistance. They have been enthusiastic and they have got on and done the job. So our public sector uh, needs a thanks. Our staff in this place and also out of parliament uh, who are holding down uh, our electorate offices and providing an amazing service to our constituents all need to be acknowledged at this time of year and can I wish them all a very Merry Christmas. Uh, Mr Speaker, I want to acknowledge all of the people that we meet when we're out and about. Um, our, in, in my role, meeting um, people from across communities, our social services that are working exceptionally hard, are people that are facing challenges, and I really want to acknowledge the many disabled people that I've met in my role as the Minister for Disability Issues, Mr Speaker, and I want to acknowledge them for the inspiration that they are uh, and for the guidance that they provide us in these roles to be able to do the best job possible, as I said, for New Zealanders. Mr Speaker, we've had a, a very exciting year, uh, and we saw from that list that the Honourable uh, Member uh, uh, Winston Peters rolled out that a lot has gone on in this year and that this government has just got on and done the business, Mr Speaker. I want to acknowledge, Mr Speaker, uh, that actually it's not just our ministers that are doing the work, but the very important backbenchers behind the scenes who are supporting us as well to do that work. Uh, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I want to particularly acknowledge, uh, though, uh, on this day, the wonderful leadership that we have in the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern. Uh, not only as the Prime Minister of this country, but as an amazing role model to other women, uh, as a mother, Mr. Speaker, and someone who genuinely lives her values, Mr. Speaker. We have been able to get on and build foundations for the future in this first year. Uh, Mr Speaker, we have been running surpluses and paying off this country's debt. Uh, we've got a clear plan as a government and are just getting on with the job. And we are that government of inclusion, that government of transformation, that government of aspiration. But to do that well, we need strong leadership. And we are lucky on this side of the House that we have that in the Right Honourable uh, Jacinda Ardern. Mr Speaker, in this last 20 seconds, I want to say that I'm so proud of the fact that we've been able to bring hope back to New Zealanders, Mr Speaker. But I also need to acknowledge that there are still 
many New Zealanders out there for whom this will not be an enjoyable time of year. And Mr Speaker, our thoughts are with them. We will be out still in our communities over the Christmas break, and I want to acknowledge uh, all New Zealanders at this time of year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker.